Hello and welcome to Let's Play All Games and welcome back to Motorsport Manager on PC. And we are in season four of our career with Valen Racing. And we are doing well. We are holding on to third place in the constructors. There are two races to go. Our direct competitors are Panther Race Team and they are 30 points behind us. So we have to try and outscore them or not let them score 31 points more than us over the next two races. Steinman are further behind. We should be safe from them because they are about 61 points behind. Hopefully that they won't score that many points and we don't have such bad results. But the next two races are dry and not very good for us traditionally in the dry. We tend to do well if it rains. Anyway, we'll figure something out. Meanwhile, we are building a front wing, a dodgy front wing for next season. Okay, let's do the interview. Front wing, front wing, yeah, front wing. I don't mind hitting her morale, but we don't want the sponsors getting mad. Engine cooling system, okay. A bit of, we found a leak and the power server is our window. Yep, fix it. Car repair finished. Good job. I don't want to say this, but our mechanics haven't messed up a pit stop in a while. At least I don't remember. Okay, boss is very happy. Excellent. Keep up the good work. Front wing is done. Um, circus. Good rear wings. We have a good rear wing. Okay, so two more races to go. And they have done two front wings. So now we have epic front wings, epic gearboxes, epic suspension. Uh, the problem is we haven't done anything on the engine, so we cannot build an engine without spending a lot of money. Can we make epic gearboxes? No, 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 brakes, I mean. Um, we'll have to build one. Brakes are kind of important. But we don't have the money. We can build epic rear wings. Let's build the epic rear wings and then we shall see if we have time to build epic brakes. Our brakes are not that bad. We are sixth. Okay. Okay, six days to Brazil and then 27 days to. And brakes take four days to build. These also take four days to build. We'll have to build one great one and then try to build two epic ones. Hopefully we can do that because they're not that expensive. Let's build a set of, so this one, we can build two of them for the same price. Okay, red zone minus 10, high speed corners. Okay, we'll do that. High speed corner plus 10. Okay, so high speed, high speed. Plus 60, good and build time two days high speed corners 20 reliability plus five high speed corners reliability goes down if we select this does it still become epic is this still epic it should be and what about if we do this it is epic if we do this this is only great okay so this is now an epic um rare wing okay let's build the rare wing nine hundred thousand so if we are done with the rare wing we can build one gearbox i hope we can do two gearboxes with the money left over we'll have to do well in the next race and pick up some money as well what about the sponsor situation and gustavo runs out in two We'll select Nippon. Nippon? You know the Japanese one where they will give us bonus for the Japanese Grand Prix. I see any. They gave us money up front, but we can't take any more money from them. Yeah, so nobody expiring soon. At least not this season. Okay, yeah, the gearbox will take some time. No, not the gearbox. Um, the rare wing. <sighs> Hopefully we'll be in good shape. Apart from the engine, we should be able to do the other things. 
maybe we may struggle on the gearbox okay we have the best sponsors on the grid mm. impressive okay let me turn off the ac is getting cold here and what else do we have okay report on rio please 28 lap race 3.5 miles 123 likely to be some rain yeah good rear wing steinman has the best rear wing yeah i remember so if it doesn't rain we are struggle so let's just go with the safe option if we are in the plus i'll be happy um yeah guess more ultras we'll need two for poly one for practice and maybe one for the race maybe i think we should do a one stopper on the soft tire that is probably our best chance Twenty eight laps, right? So I keep forgetting the laps even after reading them. Uh fourteen apiece. Also I did not see if it's high tire wear or high fuel burn. Should be paying attention to these things. Screen was right in front of me. Anyway. Yeah, this is almost identical to Sao Paulo. They haven't done much changes here. Interlagos. It's also a anti clockwise circuit. Yep. Okay, he's a specialist at this track, so that helps us okay let's see what he's saying about this so we don't need very high downforce here apparently so we leave it in the middle gearing probably on the long side so and uh, handling do we need understeer no it's probably that might be too much okay let's try this we'll keep the downforce in the middle probably need a bit of downforce we always need some downforce and yeah let's look at the tire situation so 20 to 22 i think we'll be comfortably able to do one stop with this tire 15 to 17 we could even do one stop with these tires with 14 apiece hmm if we have a safety car we could conserve the tire oh let's try that any chance of rain and uh, surikov yep do the same Let's look. Okay, so we need a lot of understeer. Okay, this is helpful. So we'll keep this here. And the suspension will go hard. I mean, yeah, hard suspension. Break his back. And speed balance will just go a bit on the long side. And we'll select the exhaust. And now since we know that we need more handling, better, harder suspension, we'll go hard here as well. And let's see if we can nail the setup quickly. As always, you can skip practice if you like. I'll put the timestamps for the three sessions. You can jump to quali. Okay, do race trim. And you go and do race trim as well. Just give your friend a bit of space. Actually, he's gone ahead. He already had the tire installed, probably. So... What can we realistically achieve out of this race? Uh, something similar to Australia I would be happy with if it is completely dry. A 7, 8, 6, or 7, maybe 4, 5 if we get lucky with the one stop. Yeah, that would be ideal. Okay, he said something about the gear ratios. I did not pay attention. Handling is superb, okay? Yeah, handling, we had a big clue with the handling. Okay, guys, any more feedback? Come on, talk to me. Downforce is bang on, okay? So I think with Cristiano, we may need to lower the downforce. With him we went 
Okay, he's happy with the arrow. Okay. Loving the handling. Good. So have they mentioned everything? Handling, gearing, downforce. Yeah, I think they've mentioned all three things. Okay, level two achieved. Very nice. Okay, gearing is also nice. He's an expert at this track, Cristiano. For an Argentinian to be so good in Brazil, that is a bit of a scary thing. Okay, we've almost hit level 3. We may be able to get to level 3 before we get to the pits. Yep, we did. This is easy. At least as far as knowledge is concerned. We have about half the time to do level 3s on the quality as well. Okay, Surikov is in first. So two greats and an excellent, which is excellent, I guess. Um, hmm. So okay, gearing is excellent. Handling, do we go even harder? And what about downforce? Do we go more? Do we go less? Let's go a bit less and see what happens. Handling could get wrecked, but downforce should improve. Okay, so three laps on the ultras, please. And great, great, and good. So getting is not so good. So we've gone very long on the gearing, so we definitely need to bring this back. And handling, we have a tiny bit of a tweak. Downforce will just lower this. If they say no, we want it as before, we can do that. If not, we haven't done much to the handling. Let's do this. Let's see how it goes. Okay, three laps on the ultras, please. Please ignore the sound in the background. That is something outside my control, outside the house. If you can hear it. If not, that's good. Okay. Okay, give me feedback, guys. See, they maintain perfect tire temperatures in practice, but they can't do that in the race. Okay, speed balance feels much better. Surikov isn't saying much. Okay, arrow is good. Perfect gear ratios, okay. You guys should be faster on the ultra softs, at least faster than everybody else on the softer tire. This is troubling. You guys need to be, yes, more like that. Handling is spot on. These guys should be right. Okay, he needs to improve. Cristiano. He's doing an in lap, so. It's not going to improve now. Okay, Surikov is on his way back. Okay, two excellence and a great. Which is better. Okay, so this was great. This is still great. It's somewhere in the middle. Okay, let's just do that. 
okay out you go same tire and uh, one lap yeah i don't think they'll be able to do much more so yeah one lap please and we just need to hit level three okay his down force has worsened so where was this before this was here this was good this is well, this was great this is good so we go the other side okay so yeah this was great handling is excellent Hang on, where is excellent this is excellent so I just need to tweak it a tiny bit we don't want to mess up the excellence and we won't be able to tweak much as far as the uh, speed balance is concerned okay just in and out please Just need level 3s and then we can just sit. Okay, I think we may not need to do another lap here. Yep. If they can get back in time, we could try another tweak. Okay, Surikov is back. Any improvements? Still... Mm, Okay, his uh, okay. Let's that's fine. Just chillax. Twenty seconds. We can't really do much anyway. Okay, people, we are waiting for you. A lot of people still getting some setup. Okay, decent practice session, I guess. It's always decent, so. Okay, end of practice for the penultimate race of the season. Okay, save here. Okay, head to Quali. Um, we see a bit of cloud, but I don't think it's going to be wet. Nah, I could, I would love a wet race before the end of the season. Also, it would help us a bit more. Okay, ultra soft. When is he going to unlock that ultra mode or super overtake mode? Yeah, let's take Polly. A slightly longer lap, so yeah, we'll do the same. We'll wait a tiny bit. And we'll send Surikov out first. We missed out on uh, Surikov in Australia by holding him for too long. We'll not do the same mistake. So we just waited a tiny bit. My theory is with Lundquist. If there is a bit of grip on track, she tends to do better, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, but that is my guess. Okay, starting a lap. Okay, so don't really have much traffic. Okay, Lund uh, Surikov has a bit of traffic. He has done a 8 tenths slower. Let's see what you do. Okay, she's a lot slower. Can one of them get inside the top 10? It's looking unlikely. Okay, if nobody improves. 10 and 11 would be alright for me. Okay, is Surikov back yet? Yes, okay, let's send him out. Okay, try and improve, guys. Try and improve. Lundquist, especially. We need you to improve. They should be able to start the lap. 
it's plenty of time. Okay, people coming out now, they're not going to start the lap. Why are they coming out? See, 18 and whoever that is. Why are they just coming out? They're just going to ruin our race. I mean, our lap. Okay, here she comes. Okay, comfortably in. See, 20, 16, 15. Yeah, that's it. This is the last car going to go. No, they, I, see, one is not going to start oh, unless she's already on a lap. Yep. Yeah, okay. So, only two people behind that can potentially go faster. The Surikov has gone much faster. Lundquist hasn't improved, but at least we have one person in the top 10. And he's up to 7th, which is actually a great performance. I am impressed. Now, what do we do with the race? Do we do our one stop with the super soft? Is it super soft? Yeah, it is the super soft, which is the middle compound. Yeah, good qualifying. Let's save it here. Yeah, we had a decent qualifying for once. Surikov seems to be back. He was gone. He had gone missing for a few races. The North North American races, I think he was missing. Okay, race looks even drier, sunny in fact. Um, any chance? Nope. So, what is everybody else on? Ultras. Uh -huh. Some people on the softs. Race trim, soft, super soft and race trim super soft this could hurt surikov so see 14 15 to 17 if we can get 14 a piece that will be excellent we have level 3 uh, knowledge as well so that could help us we may try and conserve the tires at the start we'd like to push for one or two laps but if we struggle to say get 12 out of these then we'll go on the harder tire and just relax I think what everybody else is doing is they're going mediums, I mean the slowest compounds, soft, trying to get 18, 20 laps. And then they're going to push on the ultras for the last 10 laps, 8, 10 laps. So we will just push for one lap just to get the temperatures. And fuel will also push for one or two laps and then we'll ease off instantly. So we can at least drag this out to 14 laps. There might be a safety car that could help us, who knows. I'm hoping we do have something or rain. Okay, Surikov, we don't want you falling behind. Okay, let's speed this up. Nope, he has fallen badly behind. Okay, he's trying to fight back, which is good. Very good, very good. In fact, he is up to six. See, he's the one with the slowest tire here between these people. Okay, he's even trying to... Hold on. Okay, now he is falling a bit. Now you need to be ahead of these people on the soft tire. Meanwhile, Lundquist, I don't know what she's doing. The temperatures are ideal, so we'll back off on the tires. Okay, he is still 8th. She is 16. Now she needs to get past holes as well. Bergman and Engelhardt, they are on the faster tire. And Surikov needs to hold on. Okay. No, no. Somebody crashed. Schmidt. Let's ease up on the fuel. And tires I think are starting to get too hot. So we'll just ease off a tiny bit. For one lap. Okay. Okay, I think temperatures are back to normal okay just keep what you're doing if you can drag this to 14 laps we are golden and I think there's a quite a bit of a gap between the two teammates so even if we have to pit them on the same lap I think it is doable we could have gone onto the soft tire and just charged more because that tire is very durable we could have even done two stints charged like hell no need to conserve the tire 
Okay, people are catching up. Monroe is clearly faster. See, Masalela, Pichet, and Sylvander. These are the three people we need to look after, especially uh, the Panther team. So, Monroe is behind, which is good. But Pichet is in front. Pichet, Pichet, Perjo, I don't know. Okay, temps are going high again. So, let's back off a bit. I'm trying to drag these to 14 laps. Okay, cool down the tires, people. They are getting too hot. It is nice and sunny here, so. She's on the ultras, Monroe, so somebody else has crashed for Sunny. I want these guys to crash. Okay, she is on the faster tire, so definitely she is not going to hold back for too long. But he's doing a decent job defending here. Okay, he won't be able to do that on the straight. Yeah, he nearly did it, but obviously it's not going to happen. We are trying to play the long game here. Okay, temps are not going down. We should be able to drag this to 14. Now, is this better than pushing? Yeah, I can't decide. Do we push harder? Okay, let him conserve. We'll tell Siri to push. But she is quite low down in 15th. We tell her to push. We pit her earlier whenever she needs to. And we'll put her on the soft tire. So we'll split the strategy. See if that helps her. Because it's not looking like it's going to rain. Yep, bone dry. Surikov is trying to get to 14. Two stints on the super soft with uh, Lundqvist we are trying to do um, what are we trying to do we are trying to go aggressive on the super soft and pit early and then go on to the soft see people are now getting way too close yeah tire temps are high I know ease off a little bit if you are not getting any advantage this guy wants to charge but people are passing him we are playing the long game and these people were on ultra softs fresh ultra softs okay she has eased off has she closed the gap by charging that is my question so lap 12 has started yeah surikov will do another two laps in fact siri could even do two laps as well which is interesting Mm. Okay, let's try and do two laps here as well. Yes, so far they have done a pretty good job. So 7 and 19, so about 12 seconds. I think it's enough of a gap to pit them on the same lap if we have to. But now people are passing them. With all the conserving they have to do. Okay, I think after this lap we charge. Yeah, his tires are slightly better. P6 is chasing him. Okay, now... Push, push, push. We'll pit you. We'll pit both of them on the same map. So, I think this is now going to happen. With her, we'll do the same. We'll put her on the super socks. I'm hoping with less fuel, it might be easier to do the last... Now we need this to work. Okay, there's enough of a gap if they don't mess up the pit lane. In the pit lane, I mean. So. Okay, people, we need this to go smoothly. Okay, Siri is coming. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. They messed it up for him. Yeah, they can't handle pressure. <laughs> At least they did not mess up series lap. Yeah, I said I shouldn't have said this, but I said they hadn't messed up in a while, so they obliged dutifully. Okay, so all our rivals are much ahead of. See, Sylvander, Pajet, Monroe. Where is Masalela? Okay, Masalela. We are not too worried about 
the Steinmans, even if Sylvander wins it, we are not too worried. We don't want the two Panthers doing too well. Okay, how is the fuel situation? When do we attack? Fire attempts are decent. Slightly on the high side. So pace is good. We are 42 and 50 seconds. See, he lost, I don't know, 7 8 laps. So he must have lost about, I would say, he would have been 11th probably if he hadn't messed up. See, now how many of these people are going to pit again? I don't think Bergman is going to pit again. I don't think Chapman is going to pit again. And maybe not even Liponen. But everybody else should pit again. So we'll just ease off here because the temps are going high. And I don't know if we should charge or if we should pit because we are getting just about 14 laps out of these. So okay, he's closing up. Yeah, up to 13. Okay, we need more people pitting or more people see the people who will pit they'll come out on much faster tires and they'll charge so we should try and clear these people so let's push a bit on the fuel if you're not pushing on the tires we should push on the fuel see Pyjet is already pitted and I had Sylvander is already pitted and I had okay not good Monroe hasn't pitted. It's not looking great, but it's not looking too bad either. Okay, let's see, relax. Okay, now let's just push. See what we can squeeze out of this race. Monroe is pitting. What the hell happened there? See, Monroe is right behind us. On the ultras, in fact. Yeah, we are worried about um, these guys not scoring too many points. So even if he holds back Monroe, Pyjet is going to score a lot more points. Yeah, we're trying to... Yeah, they have to score 31 more than us over the next two races. This one and the next one. So, she's right behind. So... If he can hold her back, that would be good. Okay, how are we looking for fuel? So five laps, six laps and say, okay, fuel we may need to ease up a bit. We may struggle to get to the end here. And the ultras will come into play, so she is going to get ahead. Masalela might struggle. Okay, keep her behind if you can. I mean, even... Yeah, she has gone past. Mm. So both the Panthers are ahead. Okay. Things are falling apart. Not completely, but... This will make the last race very interesting. So she is fourth. Fourth place gets 12 points and uh, Monroe is 8 so 4 to 16 they'll be scoring 16 we'll be scoring 2 if he holds on to 9th which looks difficult right now we have just about enough fuel and uh, if Masalela pits, Monroe might score even more points. I mean, if he pits, we'll also get a couple more points. So, okay, the engine problems. If the opponent pits, Pyjet will pick even more points. She's already into P3. Okay, this is not going well for us. See, Masalela has pitted. We are up to seven. Eight, so we'll pick up four points, but they are up to 15 and uh, seventh place is six points, right? The 20 ones, so we are in trouble now. And she's also, oh no, she's overtaken sharp as well. 
Uh, on the final lap, so the Panther team are going to cause us problems for the last race. Yeah, we might lose third place to Panther. Meanwhile, Leponin has won the race. Yeah, I guess good result. But we've lost ground to Panther again. I'm a bit worried. Okay, not good, not good. They also seem to be more, more reliable. So people pitted twice and still finished ahead of us. Okay, let's see the damage. Okay, 190, 179, so only 11 points behind. They have picked up a lot of points. So I think Steinman are out of the picture, so we should finish fourth comfortably. But I would like to hold on to third. So if they score 12 points more than us, they finish ahead. Uh, it doesn't look good for us. Hopefully we can see finishing 12th means they finish fourth and we don't score any points, 12 points. So they finish fourth, they get 12 points and we are out of the points, we get nada. So as long as we finish, say if one of them finishes fourth and one of us finishes ninth and the other two, let's say don't finish in the points, that would be enough for us to hold on to third. Boss is happy. I think boss's happiness hasn't dropped all season. Okay, why is his morale down? No idea. Okay, we also made some money. Okay, so one more race to go in Dubai. It's not going to rain. What can we do to get something? It's a 24 lap race. Uh, we are good on the tires. I think we'll try the one stop again. And hope we get lucky with uh, qualifying or something and we'll come back and finish the what are we building the rear wing so i don't think we'll have time to build two gearboxes yeah we'll see okay anyway thank you for watching this is getting tense for the last race trying to hold on to third place so join me for the last race and see if we can hold on to third place